All right, today I'm gonna show you how to wire a pigtail to a furnace. Plug it in. So on the plug here, you notice there's always two different sizes. You got a bigger size on the left and a smaller size on the right. Now the bigger size is the neutral line. So that's your L2. And then the smaller size is your L1, which is your power, your hot power, main line. And then that's always your ground. So here you have your L1 and your L2. Here you have your L1, L2, and ground. So they're right here. Okay. So I'm going to fish this guy. the hole like so okay put the excess on top there. all right so to tell the difference on a pigtail which 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 line is which if I think can focus for a second all right you see how it's smooth this is your hot line tell the difference on the other side See the how there's ridges on that? Like more like lines. Focus pitch. Alright. See how there's ridges and lines? That's your L2. That's your neutral line. Hot, neutral. Sometimes these are color coordinated off the top where you can see a black, a white, and then a green. If you cut those off and peel these back, then you would see a different color. But if you have this type of pigtail, which is very common you're gonna have a smooth side and a line side so I'm gonna cut these back and I'll show you what it looked like okay so I've cut these back and they don't have any colors indicating which line is which so we go back to what I was telling you before you find the here's the line one and here's the smooth one that one you can see is green, so indicating that that one's ground. So, ground, here's your, your power, your neutral, and your ground. So I'm going to hook up your the smooth one to the black one, the line one to the white one, and then green to green. Let me hook those up and I'll be right back. Alright, so before I put the wire caps on, I'm going to show you. Alright, so bridges to the white wire, smooth to black, and then green to green. And another thing, always use the correct wire caps. This wire cap is used for 120, which is this pigtail right here. It's a 120 volt pigtail. So you would use like a smaller cap like this, a blue one, for this is 24 volts. So this is everything that's for the smaller ones. So always, always use the right caps. Another thing too is you're gonna have a bunch of excess wire about sticking out this much. You don't want any exposed wire hanging outside of this cap. Reasoning is you're gonna tuck it into this little box right here. Any exposed wire can touch this box and then short out the, the um, the breaker which means it'll trip out and then it'll constantly tripping 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 why because you have too much wire exposed and it's just arcing out inside this box here so always cut it cut it down see when you put this cap on there's a good gauge when you screw that down it's gonna go down and you won't have any exposed wire so let me put these caps on I'll be back all right caps are on Another thing to do before putting it in the box is you want to wrap this cap with a little bit of electrical tape so it'll ensure that this cap stays on these wires and that there's going to be no arcing inside this box. Okay, so I'll be right back again. All right, now you got to use electrical tape. You just simply take a piece off a roll, wrap it around, and there you go. You're good to go. So we're going to pull this guy up. Shove it back in the box here. Oh, 
struggling. And then we're gonna secure this. This is a little grommet. So basically, the wire will pull out. Trusty tenor locks here. Kind of hard to do one handed here. Alright. So he's secure. Ain't going anywhere. Caps off. around you don't want access all right and then plug your in like so all right so if everything's good it should just be a steady light it flashes nine times and my polarity is reversed and it's not reversed here it's reversed behind that box the electrician had done it weren't wrong. So we put the door switch in. Red light. Perfect. All good. Installed correctly. So I just put the box back on. Put the doors back on and we're ready to go. And that's how you install a pigtail on a furnace.